mermaid. You might be wondering how I got here and honestly I'm not sure I even know. You see, it all started last year. Every time I host a large photo shoot, I like to have a celebratory meal where we inevitably start chatting about what my next project should be. Last year, after my Pink Magical Girl photo shoot, we were out to sushi and I mentioned wanting to do a Mermaid Melody peachy peachy pitch group. Yes. Mermaid Melody is a magical girl anime from 2003. It follows a group of mermaid princesses who can transform into idols using the magic stored in their pearls. When in their idol form, they fight against Gaito and his evil fish turned human, yes, weird, I know, uh, to protect the oceans. This show was super popular in Japan and has a surprisingly large following in Germany and Italy. Mermaid Melody. But it never really took off here in the States. When I first watched it, I had to watch the second season with German subtitles because it wasn't even subbed in English yet. Not that the German subs actually helped me understand anything. <laughs> Needless to say, I was pretty surprised when a few people at dinner mentioned loving Mermaid Melody and being totally down to do a group. And so started the year-long planning process for this photo shoot. Now, when I say year-long planning process, I really mean it. This project has lived in the forefront of my mind since April 2023. Planning huge projects like this takes a lot of brain power and many, many, many spreadsheets. For this group, we had a Discord where we chose fabrics, discussed shoes, shared tutorials and patterns, discussed our location, all that good stuff. Then, after our cast is set and our photographers are chosen, I get to work on a schedule. I am an overplanner to a fault and I am super aware of it, but I think having an actual schedule, especially for shoots as large as this, really helps things keep moving and ensures that you get every photo that you want. I also like to put together a visual shot list. This way people have references and pose ideas ready before we even arrive on set. So once our cast was picked and our weekend secured, it was time to find a location. We decided to rent a beautiful house on the Oregon coast. It was the perfect place to play mermaids for the weekend. Our BMV was about an hour and a half out of Portland and five hours south of Seattle. The drive looped us through towering trees and mossy waterfalls and past lots of cows until we arrived at quite possibly the most beautiful Airbnb to ever exist. Words fall short when I try to describe how beautiful this home is. Like every room has floor to ceiling windows, it's all white and marble and concrete, very trendy and literally right on the beach. I think we were all too stunned by the sheer beauty of this place to get any actual footage, uh, but hopefully these listing pictures give you a good idea of what it looks like. Oh, we live! We out here! Oh my gosh. Look at this! Look at you, Ellie. You're the one who mermaid this happen. It's I'm so the first one. I feel like it's my birthday. <laughs> Every day. I love this? I'm so productive. It's an art. <laughs> I think it's worth noting that the Tortured Poets Apartment by Taylor Swift had dropped literally a week before our shoot, so the whole cast was obsessed and maybe a little depressed. This is stunning. You're stunning. No, you're stunning. <laughs> but anyone who's worked with me knows I have zero chill, so after a few minutes of, oh my god, this place is beautiful, we immediately started getting into costume. Our first shoots of the day were of the main trio, Lucia, Hanon, and Rina. When I'm planning big shoots like this, I try to make time for the main characters to have a smaller, more private photo shoot first, so that way they can bond and get used to each other before we jump right into the fire. The first shoot of the weekend is always extra exciting, especially when you're in such a beautiful and unique location. Let me see her, let me see her. Oh, I think that's what I'm saying. Absolutely crying, shitting. Shitting, throwing up. Absolutely losing my goddamn mind. Mermaid roll call! Lu 
Lucia is played by my second brain self, the Darkened Elf. She is my number one planning helper when it comes to these projects. She is always there to bounce ideas off of and is the same amount of crazy that I am, which, spoiler, is a lot. Hanon is played by Swan Princess. She was also in my Pink Magical Girl photo shoot and is such a sweetie. And Rina is played by none other than famous YouTuber Mary Love Mew. Honestly, Mary and I have been mutuals and ran in the same online circles for so long that it's absolutely wild we only met last year. She is also working on a vlog from this weekend, so be sure to watch it when it comes out. Oh yeah, and because I have zero chill, we rented a drone. Honestly, I've been wanting to play around with drone footage for a while, and I thought the beach would be the perfect spot. Also, I saw this one Mermaid Melody cosplay video during my research, and I just thought that the drone shots were so cool, and I wanted to do that myself. We rented our drone through lensrentals.com, and I thought it was a pretty good deal. Honestly, I would love to rent one again and really focus on getting cool shots with it. Because when we cleared the set and focused solely on getting drone footage, we got some pretty incredible stuff. Oh my god! I love hugs! <laughs> oh yeah, uh, remember when I said that our BMV was on the beach? I meant like literally on the beach, less than 10 feet out the door and you were in the sand. For reference, uh, this is the ocean. This is the ocean. And this is where we were staying. <laughs> Say hi everyone. <laughs> While the main trio was taking their photos with Char of Magical Girl Studios, I was off getting some snaps of Sierra played by Arissa Cause. Arissa is such a sweetie. She joined our shoe pretty last minute and didn't know anyone else in the cast going in, but she fit in perfectly and absolutely killed it as Sierra. You're sad. You can maybe look out towards the ocean a little. The wind is blowing. You're so sad. I'm not gonna lie, playing photographer is hard. I try my hardest, but I am just not the best at it. I don't know how I'm okay at self-portraits and I feel great directing, but can't really figure out how to translate those thoughts into actual photos when I've got a camera in my hands. We continued shooting until the rain rolled in and the sun went down. So one thing about living in the Pacific Northwest, you never really know what the weather is going to do. <laughs> Literally the weekend before this shoot was sunny and 70 degrees, but the whole time we were at the beach, it was cold, rainy, and windy as heck. I mean, the wind on Friday was whipping everyone's costumes like crazy, but honestly, it might have been the most mild weather we had all weekend. I had known going into the weekend that the weather might end up working against us, but I don't know if I was really prepared for it to happen. Emotionally, I mean. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the camera real quick. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, quick little update. We are shooting inside today, which is a bummer uh, because it's raining and our costumes, you can see every single little raindrop. So we're gonna shoot inside. I'm a little bummed, but not too bummed because Char is taking incredible pictures and we all look really good. So, fit chat. Okay. I try so hard to put on a strong face, but I can literally see my soul screaming in this clip. Anyway, our original schedule started with the second trio, Karen, Noel, and Coco, shooting on the beach at 8 a.m. We went outside for a minute or two and immediately realized it just wasn't feasible. While it wasn't pouring rain, there was too much to really get nice photos, so we turned around and went back inside for our solos. We started with Karen's solos. Karen is played by Cal Pal, Mary's BFF. Mermaid. Oh, she a mermaid. <laughs> Cute. She has such a sweet and soothing presence. It was so fun to be her twin for the weekend. A little side eye. Oh, look at you go. There she is. That's our Karen. Honestly, I can't quite say how thankful I am for everyone on this project, but especially Nicole and Char. Not gonna lie, I was panicking a little when we had to make such drastic changes to the schedule, but these two just took charge and started working through my shot list. 
Plus, Nicole's puns can turn anyone's day around in no time. How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, we're good. We've got a lot of great solos and stuff. <laughs> Damn. Rejected. This is Nicole. <laughs> then it was time for Coco. Coco is played by my dear friend Little Miss Melons. You might also recognize Mel from the Maho Photo Photo Booth. She is literally the biggest Mermaid Melody fan I know, and she absolutely lights up the room as Coco. We were playing a bunch of Mermaid Melody songs in the background to set the atmosphere, and Mel knew the words to almost all of them. So when it was her turn to do some singing footage, she actually started singing. Ooh, that's so pretty. <laughs> it made my little fangirl heart so happy. And then it was my turn. Now, not gonna lie, I was feeling myself in this blue wig. Like, something about this color just makes me feel so freaking good. Cool. Do you feel good with that? I feel very happy. I love being an idol. <laughs> <laughs> now, while we were taking photos inside, every 10 minutes or so, we'd ask someone for a rain check, where someone would go stand on the balcony and see how bad the rain was. And right after my solos, the rain seemed to have calmed down enough for us to run outside for a little bit. So, the three of us hustled outside with our game faces ready to get some group shots on the beach. My favorite type of photos are candids. I just love photos that make the characters actually come to life, not just in costume, but in personality too. This is really warm. <laughs> not to mention, hugging really helped us stay warm. <laughs> okay, hugs were warm, done, done. But by the end of our group photos, you could really tell how wet our dresses were, especially mine. And we were only outside for maybe 30 minutes. But I am so glad we braved the rain because we also got to bring out the drone. Let me tell you, this thing is so cool. Not only does it take incredible action shots, but I think it gives an even better view of what's going on behind the scenes. Shoots like this have so many moving pieces that can be really hard to show in a normal BTS shot. Like the fact that as soon as we were finishing up our second trio photos, Kelsey had gotten into Lucia and joined us on the beach. Her and Nicole were able to get some incredible in action dancing photos and some drone footage too, thanks to Gerbs. And not gonna lie, these might be some of my favorite photos of the whole shoot. The motion, the expression, the setting. <sighs> Chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Cute! But soon after we finished our photos, the rain picked up again and we were relegated inside. Obsessed. Each of our mermaids had a chance to pose in front of the windows. Three, two, one. We made sure to get some hair flips and singing shots of everyone. And then we also had a mini karaoke party for each of the girls. It's me unknown. Okay, so TLDR. I'd initially planned to make a big music video with footage from this weekend. So I wanted shots of each of the mermaids singing, but I didn't really care if it matched the lip flaps of the song. Not like the anime matched the lip flaps either. So I was just going to have everyone pretend to sing, but Nicole thought it would work better to have everyone pick their favorite karaoke song and sing along. And you're welcome to like move your hands out, play with the camera, and yeah, really work it. I know. And boy howdy was it a great idea. Not only did it lift everyone's spirits, but it also got the most fun and genuine smiles out of everyone. Anyone stop calling? Yes, when there we go. Sway, I know I got some of the mermaids did Disney, some did pop music, but my favorite was our Sarah Vizira cosplay singing Evanescence. Bazira is typically a pretty calm and ethereal person, so seeing her scream, wake me up, was an absolute 
hoot. <laughs> And even though we didn't get all the footage I'd initially planned for, I was still able to make a really cool music video from this weekend. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. <laughs> Caught that on camera. Good. Straight to jail. <laughs> Let it be known that Ellie is violent. violent. You're a professional. I'm a professional violent. When you're not looking, she's actually holding a gun to you while we're filming. Oh right, so no one is willingly here. Blink twice if you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I am an avid romance reader. Like, I love a silly little rom-com, and I also love a sexy little pairing. And Kaito and Lucia has always been one of my favorite pairings growing up. So when Kelsey and Tori T cosplay did their pairing photos, I literally ended up on the ground. Like, <laughs> hello! They are both hot as hell, and like, <clears throat> okay, you just need to see this photo. You just need to see it. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. As the day went on, we continued doing rain checks. And as we had moments of dryness, a few cast members headed outside for some beach shots. Tori lived their aesthetic beach guy dreams and literally walked into the ocean as Kaito. And our two orange mermaids, who we affectionately called Big Orange and Little Orange all weekend, strutted along the beach. Stephanie, also known as Jester's Labyrinth, was an absolute trooper and was our main photographer to brave the beach. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate this shot? I told Stephanie I wanted this shot to be like when a magical girl first transforms and is all amazed by their outfit, and she literally nailed it. Now, when everyone came back in, they were drenched, but I was still holding out hope for some full cast beach pics and maybe going a little crazy in the process. Capybara. Capybara. Throughout the day, we had a few more characters show up. Julie stepped in as Aqua Regina. This was her very first cosplay ever. Talk about jumping straight into the fire. Literally ocean goddess. Okay, let me see very first cosplay photo ever. It's so beautiful. Jay of Jess Cause Cosplay was our Michael. These wings were massive and so cool. Jay played Deep Blue in my Tokyo Mew Mew photo shoot a few years ago. He is just so good at playing the beautiful villains. Cookie Whisperer joined us as Yuri, one of the fish turned evil villains. She was just so, 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 so cute. And finally, the little Dominator as Hippo. I can't get over how adorable Dom was as Hippo. They also put together this costume in less than a week, which is wildly impressive. Oh, that's Great so job. cute. Hippo, can you just be like the cutest that you ever yeah. been in your whole life? Yeah. 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 There we go. I always love adding villains and side characters to these big photo shoots. It really helps bring the whole world to life. Something I've struggled with for a while though is making these shoots feel worthwhile for the villain and side characters. These cosplayers put so much time and energy into their costumes, but sometimes in my planning they fall to the wayside because I'm focusing on the leads. If things had gone how I had planned, I think I would have felt better about the amount of footage and involvement they got. But because we were inside, it was rather limited. I am always looking to improve these shoots. So I think next time, if we have villains and side characters, I'll try to find a leader for them and treat them as their own photo shoot that then comes together with the leads photo shoot. That way they have their own dedicated coordinator and photographer and can really be the focus of the shoot rather than feeling like an afterthought. Anyway, remember how I said we'd been doing rain checks all day? Well, after lunch, we were getting ready to set up for some full group photos inside when we noticed there was a break in the rain. I don't know if I can describe how desperately I wanted photos on the beach, and this seemed like our last chance. So despite Nicole suggesting that we wait a bit longer, I said, screw it, let's go. The moment I stepped outside, I regretted it. Yeah. 
The wind was howling, and while the rain was light near the house, the moment we stepped onto the actual beach, we were drenched. We pushed through and were able to snag a few photos, but it was rough. I think we were outside maybe 10 minutes, and it was miserable. We got back inside looking more like a pack of wet dogs rather than majestic mermaids. <sighs> Honestly, making split decisions like that is one of the hardest parts of leading group projects like this. Typically, I have my head on pretty straight and end up making the right call, but this time I was so in my head about getting these freaking beach photos that I made the wrong call. If you can't tell, I've been beating myself up over this for weeks, even though I know I shouldn't. I guess the lesson is, if your BFF is looking at you like you're crazy and telling you you're making a bad decision, maybe you should listen to her. <laughs> so we took an hour to relax and dry off, and after I had a small minty bee and some fancy hot chocolate, we got back to work. <laughs> so glamorous. Next on our to-do list were a bunch of group photos. Honestly, huge shout out to Nicole for doing most of the directing and organizing for this part of the shoot. After my little outside fiasco, my brain was not in business mode. So it was so nice to be able to count on her to get people in place and posed. Honestly, look at those windows. How on earth did I think it was dry enough to go outside? First, we took turns destroying our villains with the power of music. Swift also healed my brain from its minty bee, and I was able to put my director hat back on to get this shot inspired by Sabrina Carpenter's espresso music video. Okay, and now ditch those arms, just like put them down to your sides. Then we got the whole cast together for a few pose photos, and of course, a couple silly One, ones as well. Three, two, this is always the moment that makes these projects seem real. When everyone is posed together and every element just plays so nicely, this is absolutely the dream come true part. <laughs> and once our villains and extras were released, it was time for our mermaid group photos. I still wish we could have gotten these on the beach, but our photographers did an incredible job working with what we had. Our costumes are all so beautiful and match so well. It just makes my heart so happy. Kacho said, oh god damn. Oh god damn. Perfect. Oh god damn. Okay. <laughs> hey. At this point, most of us had been in costume for seven or eight hours. So after the group photos, we took a few final solo pictures and some detailed video, and it was finally time to de-wig. Our main shoot had wrapped, we had a lovely dinner of homemade curry and rice, along with some incredible mixed drinks before getting into yukatas. Kelsey is a huge fan of yukata and kimono. She actually has a pretty extensive collection and was able to dress our whole cast just from her collection. She even helped us all get dressed. Wearing yukata isn't hard, but there is a certain procedure that it's really important to follow. At this point of the evening, the rain had died down, but it was still really windy and, of course, pitch black, too. So we grabbed a few pictures on the balcony. Two, one. So cute. Oh, oh, I love yeah. the, yeah. No, yes. that one's probably I like the perfect. Arm up a lot better. Okay, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Hello. Hello. Ah. Kelsey wanted to go to the beach, but honestly, I don't like sand, and I especially don't like the dark, so I tapped out of that adventure. Those of us who stayed inside attempted to take photos of each other in the living area, but again, I am not great with a camera, and this one was manual focus, so I was really struggling. 
Our friends who went outside came back in a little wet, but very happy. They all got the shots they wanted, and Kelsey even went into the ocean a little. We had an early morning ahead of us, so we wrapped up early and started tidying the B&B before it was time for bed. Sunday morning, I had had not one, not two, but three dreams about it being a beautiful and sunny day. And while I wouldn't call it beautiful and sunny, uh, it was at the very least not rainy and miserable, so I call that a win. This morning was everyone's first time trying on their mermaid shells and tail together. These shells took way more print hours than I anticipated, so we only finished attaching them to the bras the night before. But luckily, we only had a few minor malfunctions, one being that one of my bra cups came unglued right as I put it on. Once our shells and wigs were on, we made our way to the beach. Now, if you've ever worn a mermaid tail before, it's kind of a procedure getting into them. These are actual swimmable tails, so they are skin tight and have a monofin at the feet. But eventually we had all wiggled into our tails and were able to pose for some pictures. Swimmable mermaid tails aren't really made for sitting on flat land. They do much better poolside or on a varied rocky terrain, so we were rather limited with our group poses. And while it wasn't raining, it was still cold as heck and the wet sand was a bit of a sensory overload. So, after taking a few group photos, we split off so some mermaids could get solo photos and others could go warm up and dry off. <laughs> Honestly, the lighting this morning was so perfect. Sometimes cloudy days are actually better for taking photos because you don't get all that harsh light. Everyone just looks so soft and dreamy. And once I was the last mermaid remaining, I decided it was time to return where I belong, the ocean. <laughs> return her to the sea! Home stretch! Remember how I had mentioned limited mobility? <laughs> I had thought I was pretty close to the water, but it turns out I was a good 50 yards from it, and butt scooting that far was going to take me forever. Get my attention! <laughs> Don't look it in the eye! <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Jerbs, Tori, and Stephanie for carrying me part of the way. I'm so glad we're getting the seawall footage. <laughs> Intended, but we still walked away with incredible memories and beautiful photos. Wrapping on a project like this is always such a weird feeling. I spent a whole year planning this project and all of a sudden, it's over. This group has lingered with me a bit longer than any of my others. I'm not sure if it's because it was more involved than any of my other projects, between the group B&B and making all the costumes, or if it's because I'm still a little disappointed that we never got our beach photos. But don't you worry, my gears are already turning and I'm already thinking of ways to get this group back together this summer for some sunny and warm beach photos. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up so I know that you like this kind of video. And until next time, be sure to keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I'll see you all later. Bye!